Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for stopping by if you are new here. So I'm going to do a very, very quick video um, and I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the ideas that I've had for my 2022 planner setup. Now, if you are familiar with my videos, you know that I currently plan in A6 rings, which I will just show you guys really quick the gist of it. Um, not much deco, anything going on stickers, notes, and all that stuff. So here literally houses everything that I need for my weeks, um, anything at all. So I have an inbox for tasks, which you see that I don't really necessarily use it all that much. I stick a lot of my tasks in my monthly to-do list if I need to do anything or it just gets put right into my weekly or my daily. Um, I have memory plan, uh, memory planning, meal planning in here. I have notes pages. And then it goes into what my actual schedule is. So I have a routine card, trigger list, year to glance, school calendar year to glance, future planning, my monthly, weekly, and then dailies. Nothing out of the ordinary, same things pretty much in almost everybody's planners. I have trackers and checklists. I have workouts, I have my finances, which I'm not really gonna flip through because it's kind of uh, private information there, um, all that stuff. And then I have my content, which again, I'm just gonna show you like a little bit of it, which is where I do like all my YouTube or my social media planning. And again, this is pretty much it, right? So everything's here all in this monstrosity of a planner. So I have that. Which again, it's been working well. Um, the rings haven't quite gotten as annoying as I thought they would get, mostly because my dailies are in the middle. So it's kind of like it falls almost even here. The only thing that I'm kind of getting a little iffy with, and this has always been my issue with rings, is everything's in its own section. <laughs> which again, for some people is like, hello, planner piece, everything's in the same section. For me, having to flip from one thing to the other, so if I'm in my monthly, having to, or my daily, let's just say, or my weekly, whatever it is, anywhere in my schedule, and then I have to flip to a completely different section to get to my trackers, completely different section to track the expenses I've done for today, completely different section to check my social media calendar, my to-do list for the week, or the month or in general it's just something that has always been the one thing that kind of keeps me from staying in rings it hasn't so much this time around I guess maybe it's the size that's just been working and so I've kind of put that on the back burner of the fact that everything's in its own place but I did run into something else that I do want to try um, it's very similar to what I've done before. So if you've been with me for a while, you know, I used to plan in a B6 Stalogy. Um, I did plan in there the way that I plan in my A6 where I set up my monthly and then I set up my week at a time. This would be slightly different. This is a larger, um, canvas that I'm used to being with. So... I don't necessarily need a full page for a day. So setting up a week wouldn't really be beneficial for me to use in here. Because again, I don't know how the days are going to go. I don't know if it's going to be one day has more or whatever. So I got a lot of inspiration from Elliot Ellie's Corner, um, Lindsay at Lindsay Scribbles, Georgina from Georgina the Librarian, and... Lauren from, I think it's the theory of Lauren, um, all on Instagram and I think all on YouTube except for Lauren, either that or I just haven't found her YouTube channel. Um, but I have gotten a lot of inspiration from their A5 style, uh, not stylogies, bullet journals. Um, cause I think the only one that uses the stylogy is Lauren. The others use, um, bullet journals and just regular I don't think they're, one of them is not an actual bullet journal, but it's the same kind of dot grid. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I really wanted to give that a try. 
So in my ASICs, if you saw real quick when I was flipping through here, I have a whole notes page here about things that I want to add, and I did not set this page. Things I wanna add for an A5 bullet journal setup. So collections and all that stuff. So I would set this up for the month, set up my weeks, which if, you, um, if you've seen Lindsay Scribble's uh, YouTube, you'll see that that's what she does, she sets up the week. It helps because that way if there's something task specific that needs to go for a certain week, I can put a post-it note, um, like something like this, put it on that week, and then when I go to actually set up that week, I know what's going on, I have that already there. Um, and then it would be literally doing my dailies just on a fly. So the night before, morning of, whatever it is. So something that I'm a little bit um, concerned with is the size of the boxes. It's smaller than the size of the box for the V6, but I'm sure I would be able to make it work. So this is the half year A5 Stalogy. Um, depending on how it goes, it may actually take me the entire year to get through one. Just because you guys know what my dailies look like. Mind you, there are some days that don't have anything and I'll go through previous weeks. So you have some days that don't have anything and then you have full days. So like a day that didn't really have that much going on. So there's a lot of space left. Um, another day that didn't have that much going on and then you see the days that have a lot going in. So I don't know, it may take me the whole year to get through a half year or I could finish this in a half year and then have two of them for the year. Okay, it also depends on how many collections I plan on putting into it. So I am leaning more towards the A5 uh, strategy for a bullet journal. And I wanna know what you guys think. Do you guys prefer a bullet journal? Do you guys prefer rings? Um, do you prefer the bound uh, planners like the Erin Condren or the plum paper planners? What do you guys think? I'm like forever lost, but anyways, so that was just my kind of chatty video. I kind of wanted to keep you guys in the loop about what I am looking at doing. And if I start to set this up, I'll definitely do a video of setting it up. It'll probably be over the course of time. So I'll probably just add it in. So you probably won't see an actual setup video until the beginning of 2022. But if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, just go ahead and give it a this video a thumbs up and I'll get that taken care of. But yeah, that's pretty much where my headspace is at and I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and drop them down below. And if you like this video or wanna see more of what's going on with the bullet journal, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're aware of all my next videos. See you guys next time, bye.